Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to play Ed Sheeran Small Bump. This is a great finger picking song. You need a capo on the fourth fret. If you would like to download the music sheet, you can download it from my Patreon page. And I recommend to check out my other tabs because you're gonna find more than 100. If you are new to our channel, click here to subscribe and also let me know what other song you like to learn. Now let's start with the intro. So the intro goes like this. So the first chord is going to be an E minor chord. And uh, we're going to pluck the low E bass with our thumb and uh, the D, G and the B string with the index, middle and ring finger all together. After the D, G and the B string all together, so after you have to slap the guitar, after you have to pick again the D, G and the B string all together, the bass and uh, these notes together again. So the first bar goes like this. After we're gonna play an E minor 9 slash B, so the first note gonna be the second fret on the A string, uh, the second will be the fourth fret on the D string, all together. After you have to pick the D, G and the B string all together, so after slap the guitar again, the next chord gonna be a C major 7 chord. But uh, you have to pick together the A string and the D string after hammer on the second fret. After pick together the D, G and the B string with the index, middle and ring finger. After slap the guitar again. So the second bar goes like this. One more time. Let's play the first two bars all together. The next chord is going to be a G major chord. You have to pick the third fret on the low E string with your thumb after the D, G open string and the third fret on the B string with your ring finger. So index, middle and ring gonna pluck the D, G, B string. So actually the plucking pattern gonna be the same as it was in the first bar. So the whole chord after the D G B string all together, slap the guitar, after the D G B again, the G bass with your thumb, after the other three notes from the chord and slap the guitar again. So the third bar goes like this. And in the fourth bar, we have to slide up from the 2nd fret on the G string to the 4th fret on the G string, but in the same time you have to pick the D and the B string. So all together the D, G and the B string slide up. After pick these 3 strings all together, slap the guitar, pick these strings again, slide back to the 2nd fret, and pick the D, G, B string and slap the guitar again. So the last bar in the first line goes like this. Okay, the first line in the intro goes like this. Play one more time slower. Okay, the next part gonna be the verse. The verse gonna be the same except the last bar. So the verse goes like this.
So in the last bar, we have to keep playing the G major chord. But at uh, end of the bar, we have to play a D slash F sharp. So the bass gonna be F sharp, second fret on the low E string, and the other notes, D open string, second fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string, all together. So verse goes like this, slower. Okay, actually this was the chorus as well, so we have to play the same plucking pattern and the same chords during the chorus. After the first verse, gonna be the pre-chorus. In the pre-chorus, the first chord gonna be an A minor chord. After A minor 7 slash B, after C major and G major, Again, A minor, slash B, C major, and D major. So the last chord is going to be a D major chord in the pre-chorus. D open string, 2nd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string, and 2nd fret on the high E string as well. So let's break down A minor, so all together the whole chord. After the, the D, G and the B string all together, slap the guitar. D, G, B string all together, after the A open string, the same notes again all together and slap the guitar. So this is the first bar. After A minor 7 slash B, the plucking pattern gonna be the same, whole chord, only three notes from the chord, slap the guitar, three notes from the chord and C bass, C major, I mean other notes from the C major and slap the guitar again. So the first two bars in the pre-chorus goes like this. And uh, the last two bars in the first line of the pre-chorus is gonna be G major chord. And uh, when you repeat the pre-chorus again, you have to play the same chords, A minor, A minor 7 slash B, C major, and uh, D major. Two, three, four. Let's play one more time slower the pre-chorus. Okay, we're gonna have only one more new part in this song, and uh, this is the bridge. In the bridge, the first chord gonna be a D major chord, the second one will be a C major 9, after E minor 7, and G major chord. You have to repeat these chords one more time, First bar in the bridge, D major chord, you have to pluck together the whole all notes from the chord. So D, G, B, E string all together. After the other, other three notes from the chord, after slap the guitar. Three notes from the chord, after bass, 
three notes from the chord and slap the guitar again. So the first bar goes like this. After you have to do the same plucking pattern but with the C major 9 bass chord slap the guitar. After the same plucking pattern but with the E minor 7 chord and the same with the G major chord. You have to repeat this line one more time, so... One more time... After... C major at 9 and D major sus 4 gonna be the last chord in the bridge uh, fifth fret on the A string fourth fret on the D string G open string and third fret on the B string this is a really nice open sounded chord let's play one more time slower the bridge Now if you learn the song, let's try to play with me.
Thank you so much for watching. This was the whole tutorial video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Don't forget that you can download the music sheet, the tab, the lyrics from my Patreon page and check out my other tabs as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with your friends. I appreciate your support and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.